Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, and Tom Griswold. And now, here's Tom. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Happy to be here on this, the 22nd of June 2020, as the semi-quarantine continues. How about ya? Got something for you, how about you? That's Me? Mr. Chick McGee across the way at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. It's crazy, man. You almost <laughs> matriculated at the university known as the Ohio State University. Spent more time there my senior year in high school than I did uh, after I graduated high school, yes. Did you actually attend? Did you ever go to a no. class? No. Okay. No. But you were going to? Yes. Okay, so then uh, this story... Money had changed you. hands, and I believe they still have it. Okay. Oh, or some of them. Okay. okay. Yeah. Maybe you can get an honorary degree. Maybe so. I'd, I'd be up not for that. Not, not from the Ohio oh, State no, University. Oh, no, God, no. They're they're, they're far too legitimate you know, from, 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 from Harvey's Junior College. I'd be all right. I'd take that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Christy Lee is behind the glass in the next room at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's Josh. There's Ace. Hi. There's Willie over there. Hey, Willie. Hey. And uh, <clears throat> uh, Willie have, is uh, Tom's son. We have uh, Pat Goddard over there. Yes, Ace, you have a question. What's in that bag? Oh, oh this is a Father's yeah. Day present I'm supposed to open. Yeah, what is in oh, that open bag? It. Good. Yeah. Who's it Boy, from? Well, it's a neon green bag oh, there. Nice. A distracting bag. Gift bag. Um, Who, which one is it from? Yeah. It's from the girls. My Aww. girls. My littlest girls. It's not really just in a green bag, and it's got the paper. Oh, oh I hear that, yeah. yeah. I and hope it's a snake They wanted me camp. to open it on the, on the air. Okay. It's a uh, oblong Ladies and gentlemen, he's opening bo- a, a gift, which never happens. Hard box. <laughs> it's odd looking. It is. Um, this so can't be what I think. It's it a rectangle. Looks, looks yeah. like a. Uh, <laughs> well, looks like a vibrator. I know what that is. It's not a vibrator. Is that an extension cord? What is no, this it's, thing? I I bet. I it, know what it is. It's I know a what sterilizer, it is sterilizer, yep. isn't it? Yeah, it's one of those oh, wands. That's wands uh, it inst- says it's a clean pod UVC sterilizer. Those things yeah. are great. Mm-hmm. Huh? So you can sterilize your whole workspace. Yeah, you can. You, it's like a wand. You just oh, so this wipe it around with okay. UV light. Yeah, yeah. Oh. zaps all the germs there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. So I know the, U, the UV kills the COVID. Well, that's handy. Yeah, that's it great. Sure does look like a uh, look like rare. a love wand. Yeah, it Christy. does. Wow, well, That'll get you there. Yeah. That would have oh. been awkward. Turn it on. Does it make noise? <laughs> I don't even know if the, I don't know if the batteries are in it or not. Daddy, have you well, used you. your dildo? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, you haven't I think if you dildo. use it, you might be a little bit nicer. Oh. Yeah. That's what oh, you really? need. A couple of orgasms. That'll turn you right around. Just oh, lighten up. Bad, what was the oh, O. Henry reject title? <laughs> lighten I, up, I, man. Yeah, I got Daddy a dildo. <laughs> no. When was the last time you really blasted off there, Tom? Really? <laughs> yeah. It's been eight like months. Right? Like where you surpri- the distance surprised you. Uh, tears to your eyes. <laughs> Here's a sentence I never thought I'd say. You ever do any butt play, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> dad! Really? You know what made that? You added dad. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward. Love it. Was Awkward, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, the home run king, Willie! Uh, oh, <laughs> wait a minute. There's the phone. Stay by the bell. Hello, Bob and Tom Show. Hi, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. Hey. Uh, Donnie, you sound like you're down, buddy. What's wrong? How can you always tell, Tom? Will you work for the census or something? <laughs> <laughs> I've... I've been seeing this new chick for the last couple of months, and uh-huh. she, she's super cool. She's basically everything I'm needing a woman. She's hot. She's killer at beer pong. She can belch the alphabet backwards, oh. even in Spaniard. Oh, yeah. Really? Nice. It's <laughs> hot. And, and nobody bakes better biscuits than gravy. Plus, she rocks it when I dock it, if you know what I mean. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, yeah. You know, so. <laughs> oh, she sounds great. I don't understand what the problem yeah. is. Well, last night I'm about an hour 15 into Under Siege watching <laughs> Steven Seagal's kick some ass, and all of a sudden <laughs> she comes in, sits down next to me, and she's bawling her eyes out. Oh. If you know what that means, yeah. I ain't going to see the end of the movie. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you crying for that much? She's like, because I'm fat. I'm like, you ain't that fat. She's like, yes, I am. That's right. <laughs> You know, and then she goes on and on about how she's been feeling weird about her weight. And for the last couple of months, she's been bitching she ain't got nothing to wear because then her clothes fit her good no more. And I'm always telling her she looks hot and ready like Little Caesars because she used to work there. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, 
I mean, we've all been there, guys. When you know there's nothing you can say or do that's going to change your mind, you know? Because yeah. I want to be all like, well, you obviously ain't going to drop him on one of pounds in the next 15 minutes, so you could have waited till this movie was over. <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. you can't Sensitive. say that if you want to arrive alive. Right. You know, then she's all like, you ain't ever going to want to have sex with me. And I want to tell her, baby, it's the tears, not the weight, that makes you so undoable at the moment. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> now, I tried everything to calm her down. I told her I've been with a ton of fat chicks before. She knew it was a big deal. Uh-huh. Yeah, did that help? <laughs> yeah. You know, said it right to your face. I guess that was a mistake. Yeah. And then I tried opening up, maybe meet her in the middle, and I told her I, I, I've always been more about the kitchen for the pushing and, and explain how we got plenty of flour if I I need a roller later. But I mean, I'll give her uh, options. You know the old looking for the... Never mind. Yeah. That's enough, Donny Cage. So for the last seven hours, she'd been barricaded in that bathroom with a box of white zen and a half-gallon chunky monkey. Mm. And I've tried everything to lure her out. Her favorite Kit Kats, <laughs> a turtle something. <laughs> <laughs> he, he even stopped under siege and replaced it with a DVD of that movie, Precious. I mean, I've gone over oh. and beyond. Oh. Nothing's getting to her. <laughs> no. The only positive is I ain't got to worry about her pulling an Epstein in there because that old shower curtain will never hold her with all this extra weight she's put on. <laughs> <laughs> Hang oh, up man. the phone. Just saying. <laughs> Hang up, Donnie. All right. <laughs> Donnie. Oh, yeah. well, he's a sensitive one, isn't he? It's an argument you can't win. I hope I don't get in trouble for sharing this story, but my brother John, whose birthday it is today. Hey, hey John. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 40. 40 John. years old. Johnny. He, uh, my brother and I, we were all going to a blues game, a St. Louis blues game, and my brother Jeff and I picked John up, and he came out, and he got in the car, and he sighed, and Jeff goes, what's the matter? And he goes, I I made Jessica upset. (laughs) And Jessica was his uh, pregnant girlfriend, and so... um, Mm. Uh, very pregnant, apparently. Oh, she upset that he just dump her? Well, she was upset because <laughs> she was uh, not feeling pretty. She was not feeling attractive. She right? was feeling Aww. really... Um, pregnant. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I really know that feeling. Right. Sure. Quite, she quite the load, huh? Yeah, uh-huh. just yeah. was not feeling uh, attractive. And John, uh, tr- <clears throat> trying to be helpful, said to her, well, why don't you clean yourself up a little bit? Oh. And <laughs> Jeff and I lost our minds with laughter. I've never been married. I've never had a pregnant woman. Even I knew that's yeah. not what you say no. in that right. situation. Yeah. Oh. Man. Has this been since resolved, I hope? Yes. Yeah, everything. They're married. Everything is okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure she looks great. Yes, she I've does. I've seen her picture. She looks fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Wow. wow. Mm, yes. Yeah. Why don't you clean yourself up a little bit? Not the thing to say. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> then maybe that should be your next book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds like something a mob guy would say. Another mob guy who's had a rough... Uh, clean yourself up. We'll go, get, <laughs> yeah. we'll go get a steak and some pasta. Come on. Clean yourself up. <laughs> what he meant was, take a shower. Maybe you'll feel better. I, you know, yeah, but yeah. it didn't come well, out. No, no. Correctly. It does not. Sure. It did not uh, come out. Speaking of pregnancy, yeah. that leads to another request. Okay. Earlier today on the Bob and Tom show, we had a request for Chick's famous meltdown. Um, and uh, we played it. Mm-hmm. It's classic. Mm-hmm. It's uh, two years old now. Yeah. Uh, got another request of a similar, uh, in, the, in a similar sort of sphere of uh, this show. Uh, this involved uh, Christy and a discussion about breastfeeding. And uh, Chick <laughs> McGee suggested This is well that, over uh, 20 years old. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. yeah Chick, uh, Chick suggested something about Christy was lazy or something, not <laughs> oh. breastfeeding. And so uh, we'll hear what happened. This my, I stand by my comment. A minute's worth of, uh, <laughs> really? of, of audio revenge. Uh, here we go. No, I'm not trying to be critical. I'm just, I'm just, this, this is Even what the then, Surgeon General is I saying. I know. So. I think those women who can are pretty much uh, by and large selfish, aren't they? <laughs> Screw uh, you, yeah. Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? The Leche League? The yes. Leche League? The Leche League. Yeah. Don't you wish just mm-hmm. once they'd have a day, one day a year, <laughs> where you could say whatever you wanted in the radio? <laughs> <laughs> just would so today that, be that the would, day for you? Just so, you know, Tom, they, they do have a day. It's your last day. <laughs> just, so that, just so that one I'm time. I'm over here working, okay? Uh, uh-huh. You know what you could do? What? Walk in there and have Dean do it for you. <laughs> you walk in there, tell Chick what you want to say, and he can fix it for you. Uh, a few minutes ago, Chick said something mean to Christy. And she... I didn't. Was that mean? I was yes. just making an observation. <laughs> I was saying that some women are unable to breastfeed for a number of reasons, and you said... The main reason I can think of is because they're selfish. <laughs> so Christy she wanted, seems very well adjusted right now. and very Christy intelligent. Christy wanted right to respond, and I have great faith in our editor. <laughs> Me too, because if Christy not, wanted I've lost to respond. We now have the response. Okay, uh, go ahead, play it. 
Hey, chick, f- you. You've never had to breastfeed. You don't know what it's like. You're a f- ignorant, stupid son of a b- <laughs> So shut your f- mouth, you stupid f- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get all of that. Well, <laughs> oh, wow. well. you know that last beep. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's it's a trick of your mind. Of yeah. course it is. Yeah. I didn't say those things. You think you hear something, but it's not really there. Right. <laughs> and whenever we do that, we actually don't curse. Nope. We say other words just in case, but it's it's a, an amazing trick of the mind. I don't believe that for a second. Christy was cursing. Uh, yeah, I she was really <laughs> cursed. Christy, I can't believe you said those things in front of Tim Cavanaugh. You could have scared him away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Pat, what? So what? Uh, what's going on? What do you mean? You said you had a surprise for Tom. So in the hallway, oh, I have a, no, I don't have a. No, in the hallway, you poo-pooed what I what I what I wanted to do. What so you that? told him the surprise. He said no thanks. <laughs> you no. know his exact words were: uh, "Today is no day for experimenting." Oh. <laughs> Well, I need home runs, he said. So Pat and I write together, what? and he, he wants to do something I've never heard. Oh, okay. And you were thrown off by the title, be honest. So, so you don't trust him. Well, don't he doesn't. The last Why time is he did today it? not to be experimenting? What yeah. happened? Yeah, let's try it. Come on. What if, Come on. It, could, well, it could be a turn. Get out you of your comfort know. zone, Tom. Go ahead. There you go. There's gorgeous George. I don't even know what this is about. Don't let so. the title throw you. In fact, I'm not even going to sing the title. Let me just do it. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Already the intro's too long. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he's steaming over here. Any day now. Oh, come on. Yeah. Can you do a key change, actually, Pat? I don't like this one. Yeah, yeah, do a key change. Yeah, go, go a step lower. Yeah, do this on piano. Oh, Pat. <laughs> I'm walking around with chlamydia. <laughs> I don't feel any shame. Uh-huh. I'm living with chlamydia. The girl with the unfortunate name. <laughs> Her mom wanted to call her Lydia. If it's a boy, her dad wanted Clem. So they settled on chlamydia. Blame it on the both of them. Chlamydia. Smoking hot chlamydia. My first name is Sif. My middle initial is T. Yes. My last name is Dickinson. My towel say STD. <laughs> Oh, me and Chlamydia can play our own little games. We have a Greek parakeet. Spirochet is its name. <laughs> I came home with gonorrhea. No joke. Gonorrhea. <laughs> Genitals inflamed. So I no longer have Chlamydia. The girl with the unfortunate name. Oh, very good, Pat. Uh, thank yes. you. Next time we'll listen to Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I we'll told you so. <laughs> Taking yeah, risks I, on a Monday. Yeah, 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 Taking risks. I I have, no, this is no day for experimenting. I, I would have pronounced it Spirochete to uh, make the double <laughs> entendre work. <laughs> Spiro is well, the Greek then, joke. Then yes. his defense, you would he was worried you'd step in. Oh, that's like how you say Spiro. Spiro. No, yes. I said a Spiro on purpose. I have more of a problem Spiro. with the guy's name being Sif. <laughs> well, I went. I wanted to go with syphilis, and I, yeah, I wanted I to say was, Samuel and just go for the STD joke. These are things Tom and I the initials, you didn't need the SIF. Yeah, well, also, people, if you're going to monogram a towel, you put the last name oh, in God, the middle, you guys. so you kind of right. messed that one up. Pat, it was a wonderful and it could also, song. They could be parents who wanted Sid oh. for a boy or Phyllis for a girl. Oh. Yes. Okay. So, so, that's so, so far, we got the wrong key, wrong <laughs> instrument. Oh, it was the right key. <laughs> no, 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 no. Willie pointed that out right away. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. I like these on-air workshops. <laughs> it, was, it was very, very good. Pat. We'll patch it up for tomorrow. Um, it was a all right, fine well, I'm taking all your suggestions. Okay, now, Thanks, everybody, for coming to our staff meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good weekend? I had a great weekend. Thank you for asking. Good. Uh, mm-hmm. Me too. A little bit of Father's Day action. Yeah, I made a nice meal for my boyfriend, who's a father, and his daughter. It was nice. All right. Well, I didn't know that was going. When did they get out of the hospital? <laughs> hey, how are things, I've really how are things at the ER? burned things around in my cooking. You asked them. I know. Them. Yeah, I've eaten your cooking. It's awesome. I have a spell, really you... good hamburger recipe. Isn't there a silent P in Tomaine? <laughs> you are not very nice. You have a hamburger Thank recipe. you. At last, oh. someone said it. Thank you. What do you do with your hamburgers? You make them into patties, put them yeah, on the grill? ground beef? Yeah. Oh, I add some minced <laughs> onion and some pepper oh. and some Worcestershire salt. sauce. Put the Worcestershire sauce. sauce. Oh, a little egg, yeah. panko bread There was crumbs. a food incident at my house. What happened? Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to tell you this. Oh, God. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. There was an incident. How about ya? That's Chick McGee across the way. There's Ace. There's Josh. This is me. This is Tom. We are in the big studio. On the TV screens, oh, really reporting good. for duty from her home, it's Jess Hooker. 
Hey. From, from the other building, it's Pat Godwin on the Hello. TV. Hey, Pat. Hi. Enjoyed your new song well, very much. We'll get that fixed by tomorrow. It's already fixed now. It was great. Get that fixed. I enjoyed your song. It'll be funnier later. After I get to redo it. Uh, Christy uh. Lee is uh, in the next room also. Hi, yes, Christy. Sir. Hi, Tom. We were discussing Christy's cooking over the weekend. Mm-hmm. And apparently everybody's out of the hospital. They're not in the hospital. <laughs> well, she said she made some hamburgers, okay. and Josh said, uh, what do you do? Put the hamburger on the grill, make them into patties? Uh, 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 oh, I have well. a sp- very nice recipe a friend of mine gave me. It's wonderful. Take the meat. Just make it down. Uh, don't you make a, f- yeah. a 50-50 burger? Isn't that? A 50-50 burger, yeah. Uh. You take ground beef, and then um, you put a pound of bacon in the food processor and grind that up <laughs> oh. and put them together. Yeah. Good Lord. Yeah. I bet that's yeah. delicious. Yeah. Okay, well, Jess, really good. Jess, uh, a new invention. First of all, there's my son Willie over there. Willie and I were cooking yesterday evening. Yeah. Willie got some uh, great Omaha steaks, et cetera, et cetera. But did you hear about what happened at breakfast? No. Okay, to make a long story short. Do it. I got up uh, <laughs> early. I, 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 went, I went downtown to, to get some coffee and some other stuff. On Father's Day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got okay. up really early. Uh-huh. I always do. And I and I in fact I brought in for you guys some incredible pastries. You sure did. That. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah. Yeah, there's like literally a quarter of a million dollars worth of pastries in the <laughs> so Yeah, it's awesome. Do not complain it's, about it's it. More yeah. like 100 bucks worth, but they're delicious. <laughs> they're more than that. I but they also have, they have great coffee that I like. Anyway, to make a long So I get back and my little girls at the time, let's see who was there. Um uh Finn and Hart who are 4 and 7 were making me breakfast. Oh. Kelly was helping them out. Oh, adorable. adorable. Yeah. And they were making french toast. Yeah. All right. With some uh, and and um uh, how can I explain this? At, at my house, the uh, the spice racks. If you're standing at my kitchen sink, there are the, what looks like next to you are sort of two carved little like pillars that are built into the thing. And if that's you, right. They're made out of uh, ebony and teak, and uh, <laughs> they were shipped over from uh, the darkest of Africa. No, you, and, uh, but you, you wouldn't know it if you didn't know it. You then you you, you grab them and they pull out. Oh yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, oh yeah. They're spice drawers. Yeah, I love those. So yeah. they're but they're. I've hidden. never heard a spice rack explained. Yeah. With more words in my life. No, but you. It's it's. Well, I'm not. In, in other, there, Chick, he's making a long story short. Okay. <laughs> that's right. You're there's right. A, there's a point to all this. Okay. So in any event, so the girls are making me French toast, and they're very excited about it. And Hart, who's four, is really excited that she's going to help. And um, this is my complaint. Mm-hmm. These spice companies, they put all the spices in the same size jars. Yeah. So they look all the same. Well, what the hell do you they want? They look all them? the same except for the but, labels yes. that say. But if you're four. When you're four. You can't read. I am. And, and you take the so, chili pepper and think that it's cinnamon. cinnamon. So your big idea is different size spices for four year old cookers. They Therefore, making the spice rack. racks imp- yes. yeah. obsolete. <laughs> Well, you're going to have to get creative. Someone's going to need to get a lathe and a, and a keyhole saw. Uh, you know, so poor little, I didn't know it. Poor little heart decides to put cinnamon all over oh. my French toast and she puts chili powder. So I, I we have actually invented what I will now call Tex-Mex <laughs> French yeah. toast. Nice. French, I've got to tell you, it wasn't bad. French Texas yeah. toast. Did you use syrup too? Well, of course, it's... Like, I bet it wasn't what, bad. You get the heat and the sweet. Yeah, a little oh, bit of... Yeah. Uh, it wasn't yeah. bad. There's a restaurant that mixes Tabasco and syrup and puts it on your waffle. That's with right. And, and, yeah. It so wasn't bad. Insane. Yeah. Mm. And, but, of course, I it, I had to eat it. Sure. Right. Because Hart's saying, Daddy, Daddy, you've got to eat my French toast. <laughs> Aw. And, um, but then it was sweet. Should but said, look, this, sweet. this is... You need to follow recipes in life. Okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is not the recipe. Uh, before you try tackling cooking, learn to read. <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't you talk to... To her like you talk to us. <laughs> so because she didn't know she made a mistake. No. Oh, no. so sweet. And then, of course, I said, do you want to try it? And she goes, no. She goes, what are you, crazy? There's chili powder on it. <laughs> I did it on purpose. I can read. <laughs> so anyway. Mom, we're out of decon. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Watch the entire show live or on demand with the Bob and Tom VIP All Access Pass. Listen live with the Bob and Tom app and make sure to visit BobandTomStore.com. Tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.